Hey, this is the InDesign Helper, and today we are going to talk about the page tool in InDesign. Right over here, we just have our limited options. It's very straightforward. Now, you're probably wondering, what the heck are these squares? These squares are actually the reference point. This reference point means that whenever you are increasing, decreasing, or moving it, it's based on that location. So right over here, if we see the reference point at the top middle, then everything will move and grow based on this area. Has if you put it in this corner, it'll be in this corner. If you put it in this corner, you put it in this corner, et cetera, et cetera. Now over here, of course, there the X and Y is at zero because it's smack in the middle, but and you can't move it anywhere. But you can change the width and as you can see as I'm changing the width it's only going outwards in that direction and then I could also change the height I could also have default legal size letter size half a5 US business card but I have it at tabloid, so I'm going to leave it at tabloid. You can also change the orientation. This liquid page rule, you don't have to worry about it. I mean, you could have it on, but usually I keep it off. But it might be helpful for you because liquid page rule means that whenever you are changing the size, the information will change with it. And it actually might be easier. To keep it on depending on what you're doing so this is scale you could have something recentered so it doesn't change the size it just keeps it in the middle you could have object based where it does it based on the object and moves it around accordingly or you could have guide based but i don't have any guides so it stays the same and that is how you use it and then you could say show page overlay or move ob objects blue foot page I just keep that on and that's how you use the page tool comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video